Welcome to the Morning Star series Three Stock Picks. I'm Holly Black. With me is Maurice Cite. He is manager of the Bailey Gifford European Fund. And you're going to tell us today about three stocks in the portfolio that you're quite excited about at the moment. That's right. Um, so the first one I'm going to talk about is IMCD, which um, is a specialist chemicals distributor, which sounds incredibly dull. But I think that's often the opportunity. Um, we often find fantastic businesses in niches, in industrial niches that are completely overlooked. Um, and IMCD is a, is a good example in that it has a leading position in, in special, specialty chemicals distribution, um, which in, in itself is a growing niche. It's effectively uh, an outsourced marketing department for specialty chemicals dis, uh, producers. Um, it remains founder run. So the two founders have been in the firm for decades. And when we met them, they told, they told us they didn't like playing golf. They really enjoyed just building the business. And that's exactly the, the sort of people that we look to partner with. Non-golf lovers. Non-golf lovers <laughs> uh, and people with skin in the game who have their own money invested in their firm and have done a great job building it. We're at a sort of time when people are talking about ESG and the sustainability of companies. Mm. I hear chemicals and that seems to not fit with that but is that necessarily true I don't think it's necessarily true I think it always depends on the use of the chemicals um, in this in the case specific for IMCD is it's a very broad uh, product portfolio that they supply and they would argue that the products that they help create by being almost the middleman between the chemicals company and the end user is that um, they help make products better healthier and, and so on and so forth so what's stock number two? Stock number two is Spotify, which I'm sure people are much more familiar with than with IMCD. I don't think I have to explain what they do. Um, and again, I think it's, uh, I'm, I must sound like, a, uh, I must, it must sound like I'm repeating myself all the time. But again, it's a founder-run company. Daniel Ek, um, a Swedish tech entrepreneur, built the company or created the company in 2006. And he really has done a fantastic job turning Spotify into the leading streaming service around the globe. I mean, it's worth, um, it's worth bearing in mind that uh, Spotify is about twice the size of, the, of subscribers than Apple, which I think is a fantastic testament to what the company has achieved so far. And we believe that Spotify has a fantastic opportunity to continue to grow for the long term uh, and in the process changing the way the music industry works and thus creating a very profitable business uh, on the back of that. With regards to profits, though, something that I always find hard to get my head around is mm. obviously these companies start offering a free service and then they need, need to try and get you to pay for it. Do they have a good conversion rate on that? I would think so. I mean, that they have effectively two businesses. One is the premium subscribers, which is about 100 million subscribers. And then they have uh, an ad-supported free service. And what they find is that people start out on the free service but then convert because it's just nicer to have the premium ad uh, service. But even the ad-supported ad free service itself is an interesting business. Okay, and what's our final stock? The final stock is Adyen, which is a fairly new company to uh, this, a fairly new public company. It's a, a Dutch payment services provider. Okay. Uh, and we've done a lot of work on the payment services area, which is a very complex area. So I, I often find that quite attractive because it really uh, pays off when you really dig deep and do in-depth research. So we spend a lot of time looking at this area and Adyen, we think, is one of the best placed players in this industry. Once again, it, it remains founder run. Um, and what the company really stands out for is it services very large merchants such as Spotify, but also Netflix, Uber. And it offers, um, or its philosophy is to offer seamless uh, payment services. And that sounds quite straightforward, but actually is anything but. Uh, because if we look at the way how payment services are run traditionally, they're very geographically confined, and they're often very specialized on different um, channels, such as retail or online. Uh, Adyen does away with that. They want to make payments uh, a, a topic as simple as possible for their customers by offering a service that goes across all channels, all sales channels, and is applicable to the glo uh, their global business. So they, that, uh, that's what underpins Netflix's ability to open 
uh, dozens of new markets in a single day. Mm. That didn't used to be pro uh, able, oh, that wasn't possible only a couple of years ago. It is possible today, and Adyen is one of the reasons why it is possible. Is that usual for you to get involved in a company when it's not been listed that long? Um, more and more so, because I think we find that um, these types of companies are coming to the stock exchange that, are, that remain founder-run, that have very attractive long-term growth prospects, and that, that have the opportunity to build very profitable operations. So I would say over the last 10 years, there's been probably a trend towards these younger companies in the portfolio. Well, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome, Holly. And thanks for joining us.